Hi, welcome to the latest chemistry news. In our Chemistry Chronicle, our first article in our paper today is Bacchus Flips Chem Classes. So, you may have heard about flipping, but what is flipping? Well, in many traditional classrooms, the teachers give direct, kind of passive instruction, sometimes through lecture, in the classroom. And then students go home and work on problems by themselves. And at home, sometimes the students will struggle with their work and the teacher's not there to help them. Also in class, during a lecture, if the pace is too fast, students may miss something. Or if it's just review and they get bored, and I'm sure that wouldn't happen in my class, but if they got bored, they may also miss some material because they're not paying close attention. In a flipped classroom, most of this direct instruction that is kind of passive on the student's part is given as homework, often in the form of a video, like I'm doing right now. And then students can pause and rewatch or even fast forward depending on their needs. And they can watch it again for review. And then class time is set aside for more interactive work where students can receive help with problems, work collaboratively, and perform experiments. Sometimes parents and students have questions about this flip method, so I'm trying to answer them for you in this video. One question they say, do we watch videos every night? No. Sometimes you have other what I call passive work, and that's when you would work by yourself reading or writing or sometimes solving relatively simple problems. Another question is, what about in class if I'm ahead? Can I watch a video in class? Well, yes, you can. But it's preferred to watch it as homework, and let's save our class time for something that's more interactive. But yes, if you're ahead, you can go ahead and watch the next video. What if I have a question when I watch a video? Students often ask me this. Well, they write it down. Write down your questions and ask them in class. I walk around every day at the beginning of class and ask them if they have questions and see what homework they did and where they are in class. So write those questions down. Last question here is why flip? So who cares? Why should I do this? And that's to make most of our classroom time. This allows for more interactive activities together. And then anything that's more passive where you can do it by yourself, you don't really need assistance, we're going to have that as our homework. Last year I flipped a few of my units and one of my students came up and said, Ms. Backus, I've waited my whole school life, they're not that old, for a teacher to do this. They were very excited. So I hope your students will become excited also about this method. Some already are. Another thing in our class is that we emphasize mastery. So students have to meet the target before they move on. How does that all work? Well, if you haven't seen it already, you can ask your students to show you their target sheet. It lists the targets. It lists a key pace date to complete the targets because we're not all always on the same page at the same time. So it's a key pace date, the resources to learn the targets, and the necessary tasks for each target to be completed. Students work on targets in and out of class. And when they have them completed, I walk around the room and I check their targets. When a group of targets are completed, then I give them the clearance to sign up for a quiz, and then they take a quiz. What does the classroom look like in a flipped environment? Well, since I'm not lecturing during a flipped environment, what are students doing? Well, they're doing a lot of active work. They're working on labs. They're getting help with solving problems. They're searching the Internet. They're discussing ideas with their lab group. They're working on group projects. Sometimes we're working together as an entire class. They're taking quizzes. Lots and lots of different activities during class. But not passive work. We try to have it more interactive. That's a little intro to what a flipped classroom is like. And it's also called a flipped mastery classroom. If you have any questions, just like I tell my students after viewing this video, write them down and go ahead and ask me on Parents Night or you can also email me. So it's always important to give credits, so here are the credits for the pictures I used in this Prezi presentation. And don't forget to join us at our community page. I sent you an email with the link, but if you lost it, here it is again. And like I tell my students, this is a good time to pause the video and write down that link. 
so you can pause the video too. And once again, thanks for listening, and I hope to see you on Parent Night.